All right, so once you download it, you're gonna have it to your desktop. You're gonna go ahead and install. And once you install, let's go ahead and open it up and you will see version 2.79 at the top, also here as well. So I'm gonna remove that for now. Now, by default, Blender will come with the ability to export DirectX files, so that's good. However, on one of the parts, we will need to import DirectX files. And uh, I'll cover that part most likely in another video but uh, here's how you're going to go ahead and install that file now I've got the file here check the description below it's going to lead to a github post such as this you're gonna to go to code and download a zip to install it you simply read the directions you're gonna copy that file into the add-ons folder do not put it to the add-ons contrib folder it will not work so Let's go ahead and kind of do that right now. Here's why I Blender installed. I'm going to go to 279, scripts, add ons, and then simply drag that folder into here. I've already done that, so it is IO DirectX. Let me see. It's in here. Here we go. So once you see that, we are good to go. We're going to open up Blender, go to File, User Preferences. We're going to go to the Add-on tabs here. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for Import Export DirectX Importer. It should be above here. Now, uh, you're probably going to have this option marked off. Make sure you uh, select it and same thing for this make sure that's selected you're gonna save and refresh now to test this thing out you go to file import DirectX file export DirectX so now you know it works so go the extra mile and we're gonna import a basic model from the game so let's go Pope can or I said Pope pop can diet we're gonna import that scroll in and as you can see it's there now the reason why we're going to import these files is because you see how small that is if you're going to make a file it's probably going to be pretty big you got to resize it to the dimensions that are acceptable to project zomboid and importing a file from project zomboid gives us a baseline to kind of run off if or uh, run off from so uh all right so now that we've got the installation and that plugin out of the way, let's do some basic controls real quick. So if you're going to, you know what, let me start fresh from where you would see. Okay, so you can click off the screen. Now all these objects here is what you're going to be presented with. Now we're not going to use the light here, so you can right click that, press X and you can left click on delete or press X again to delete or excuse me you're sure gonna have to left click it now so okay so those are gone we're not gonna need them and depending on how you model things you might want them but I don't use them and uh, to maneuver like you see I am doing right now you're gonna hold down the middle mouse button so uh, if you want to strafe left and right, you're going to hold shift and then the middle mouse button will do that as well. You want to select an object, it's going to be right click. You want to move an object, you can just left click on here and move it up and down. Now, you can right click and move it up and down or freely, but if you let go of it, it's going to go back to its original position. So if you want to pretty much permanently move it it's gonna to have to be a left click there so pressing A will deselect or select everything pressing N will bring up this menu here now sometimes you're gonna have this menu you're gonna to need to refer to so just remember press N to bring it up back and forth so on and so forth okay so we're currently in object mode so let's go to edit mode we're gonna press A to deselect and now you have uh, a couple of corners up here so if we press well we can't click on it right now but if we press A we select it but uh, right now we're in uh, the corner select mode so you can only right click a corner and select it 
and then you can freely move it back and forth. I'm going to press Control Z to undo that. So let's do this mode. From here, you can select the whole side, move it back and forth. On this part, it's going to be face select, so you can right click and select the whole face and move it back and forth. <clears throat> Normally, it kind of depends. I mean, you're going to move back and forth between these, so the best option is there really is none. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so I believe that's about it on the very quick intro to Blender. If you have any other questions, I'm not an expert in this, so you're going to have to use Google and figure it out. Um, you can also check out a video that I'm about to release on 3D modeling a weapon. Most likely you'll find your question in there. Um, but other than that, I will see you in another video.